Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as we all know that Diwali is almost here, it is one of my personal favorite festivals. So many memories of with Diwali. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Diwali this time. Like I'm away from home, so it's gonna be a very normal Diwali for me. But uh, yeah, I thought that my Diwali is gonna be incomplete if I do not share a get ready with me for Diwali. So. Yes, I am going to be sharing that. I have tried to create this green golden halo eye right here. I like how it turned out to be. Please let me know your honest opinions in the comment section down below. Anyway, I hope that you all have a great Diwali. And yeah, if you are interested uh, to see how I created this look, then please continue watching the video. Also, if you are seeing me for the first time, please take a moment and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. And now, without wasting any time, let's quickly jump into the video so yes let's begin with the makeup of course i have prepped my skin i have applied moisturizer primer and all of that it's been a while since i've done that so of course directly i'm going to start with my makeup also i'm going to be seeing uh, here somewhere in between because i have a mirror here so of course i just need to keep on checking so yes i'm going to start with my makeup the first thing i'm going to use is this concealer this is the ny bay concealer i've constantly been uh, you know uh, coming back to this concealer because i think this works great it lasts for a long time so yes so i'm just going to apply it under my eyes first i'm going to do my eye makeup so yeah let's see how this halo uh, green golden eye turns out to be i'm just going to blend it all in as you have seen i have applied a very little concealer and this one does the work perfectly so yeah also i also like that uh, swiss beauty concealer but you know it's it's a very lighter shade i feel so it's good if you just want to highlight some points or you know give that extra glow under the eyes so yes you can use that but just for concealer uh, just for concealing my dark circles i think this one works better so yes once i have prepped my eyes i'm going to uh, take the lakme loose powder and i'm just going to place it under the eyes also i'm so sorry if there is some background noise because you know it is what it is so yeah so till all of this sets in i'm just going to do my eyebrows quickly and i'm going to be back super soon so i'm back and all of that is done if you have been following me for a while you already know that i just like to keep my eyebrows as uh, you know natural as i can i just go in with the natural line and that's it that's all i have done i'm going to start with the eye makeup so so as i have already mentioned i'm going to be doing a green golden halo eye let's see how it turns out to be because it's the first time that even i am going to try so yes it's even super new for me i am going to be taking uh, this brush right here and i'm going to be picking up a brown shade to kind of cre uh, cut the crease so yeah i'm going to do that also i'm going to pop up all the color or pictures of the shades which i'm going to be using because it's honestly difficult for me to you know kind of show this on the screen so yeah i'm going to do that so yeah i'm going to be taking this a uh, brown shade which is available in most of the eye shadow palettes and i'm just going to go with uh, the crease like this So yes, once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking this very pretty green shade as you can see on the screen and I'm just going to uh, you know do the same below the brown uh, shade that I have done. This is a very pretty color if you can see that on the screen. So what I'm going to be doing is since it's a halo eye, I'm going to be taking this green color and I'm going to uh, you know color up my crease in the corner both the outer and inner corners i'm going to be taking a different uh, brush for this one and i'm going to pick up that same green shade and i'm just going to go like this i'm going to be going till mid here yeah i'm going to be taking that same shade and i'm going to be doing that in the outer corner as well like this i'm 
I hope you can see I have left a little bit of space in the middle and that is of course for this very pretty brown shade. This is a pressed glitter brown shade. This one. Yes, I'm just going to be, you know, pressing it in between. Look at that color. How pretty is this? If you do not have a pressed a golden glitter, you can of course just use any golden eye uh, shadow palette, uh, any golden color which you have and you can just fill it in. In the center, I'm not going to be touching the outer or inner corner. Just going to be pressing it in here. I'm going to just blend it in all together. This looks pretty beautiful and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be doing the same thing for this eye. But before that, I'm going to take the same green uh, shade and I'm just going to apply it on uh, the under eye as well, like this. The same green color, I'm going to go like this. Definitely brings a difference for your eyes. So yes, I have done that. And for the inner corner, I'm going to be taking this neon yellow shade and I am going to be applying it on my inner corner. So yes, I'm almost done with my eye makeup for both my eyes. I'm going to move ahead and apply the mascara. I'm going to be using the Maybelline's Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara. So yes, once I'm done with mascara, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Lacme uh, eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner, creating a very thin wing. If you can see, that's how thin I have done my eyeliner. I'm going to do the same for the other eye. So yes, this is what my eye makeup looks like. Honestly, I liked how it turned out to be. Please let me know in the comment section. I have already said that. Now I'm going to move ahead with the base makeup. I'm going to I'm going to be applying the Maybelline's Fit Me 330 Toffee. This one uh, which I recently bought. I think I've already done a video on uh, this one. I have, I have shared in one of my videos. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying that. So yes, I've blended it all in and there is so much color on my eyes but you know my face looks very flat and like there is very less color of course because I've not yet applied my favorite makeup product ever which is the blush. For today's uh, look, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild uh, blush. I'm going to be taking a little bit, dusting off the excess. Just smile and apply it. I like a little bit extra blush and tints so yes you can apply it according to your preference of course as you can see this is a very pretty uh, peachy pink kind of color so yeah this is what it looks like now I'm gonna move ahead and apply highlighter I'm gonna be using the instant glow brick highlighter I've used it many times in my videos I'm gonna be taking uh, this white shade right here and I'm just gonna be applying it on my high points I'm going to be using a brush like this. So yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to be taking the same highlighter with my small brush. I'm going to be taking a little bit of the white shade and I am going to be applying it right here below my eyebrows. So yes, finally, I'm going to move ahead and apply lipstick to overall complete this look because without lipstick, of course, the look is a lot incomplete. So today I'm going to be mixing two colors, two of my very favorite colors. I've used it multiple times in my videos. The first one is the Lacme 925 Blush Velvet. This one right here. This is a very pretty lip and cheek tint. And the second one is the Miniso's Blush Velvet in the shade 01. So I'm just going to be mixing both of them. Since I have done a green color eye look or a Hello green golden eye look and there is so much of color already. I'm going to keep my 
lips very neutral to kind of overall neutralize the look. So yes, I'm just going to be applying it. So yes, this was my look. As I mentioned already, I honestly loved how it turned out to be. If you liked it, you know the drill. So please make sure that you like this video, share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You just have to click that red subscribe button right here on the left side, right here somewhere. So yes, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. That would genuinely mean a lot to me. So yes, please make sure that you do that and uh, make sure you comment down below how you liked the look. And I really hope that you all have an amazing Diwali with your loved ones. You have lots of sweets and all of that. So yes, on that note, I'll soon be back with another video till then take care bye bye